So everybody, this is Tony. She has been on our show and she wants us to help her as we promised to best utilize these videos that we make because they do a lot to get attention. We've proven that, everybody kind of understands that. If you get on a national network like ABC and a top 25 market, which is what St. Louis is, and uh, you've got a great looking interview that's even three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, but especially what we are allowed to do and produce something that's 30. Sometimes we, we can do an hour worth of video uh, produced with our ABC production style that we use. So with that, I'm gonna share our screen. Thank you, Tony, for joining us here. I'm gonna click the share button and go over to screen number two. I have my little portable system and we advocate you use two displays uh, because it makes for a more productive uh, everything to do that. So we're recording this right now with, with Tony's permission. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put up everything so I can see everything correctly. And I guess it's recording my screen that I have active, so that's cool. I want to make it large enough so Tony can see me. I can see her. So here is our active screen. There it is. And so we have our Google Drive here. Now, this is my Google Drive, personal Google Drive. I switch over here, and it should quickly allow me to switch over to. So this is our Google Drive for the, for the your little castle show. And we've got two terabytes. And uh, that's cool because there's a lot of storage necessary for doing video, right? So the reason I'm sharing this a little bit is because you know, as a get client of ours, as a guest of our show, I'm going to save all this stuff. So you can see all the shows we've done now. Everybody's got their own folder. So when I share a folder to somebody or my assistant, um, is this okay if I show your folder, Tony? You want me to show somebody else's folder as an example? No, 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 I need to. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. you sharing my folder. Thank you for okay. your time today. Tony, so there I just start, start typing in. It finds it. So inside there, I've got a few things called Tony, as I recalled. And I'm going to go to the main folder is what that one looks like. And I bet those others are side subfolders. Yep inside of there. So rather than drill around trying to find it, just Google's good about search, right? So they can search their own Google Drive. And here is everything we've done for Tony. So this is the full unedited version. And I don't recall, did we have a couple little things? I think there were a couple little edits I made to it. Um, but inside there, we end up then with the ABC version. So the, the, the client, you guys can have a copy of this one and then you can use this for whatever purposes. Here's, the, here's what actually aired on ABC. That gets cut down to 28 minutes, 30 seconds. And so you have access to that. And what I, the way I check this is often, so, a lot of times I don't share it to, to you via your email, but sometimes we do if you give us yours. But yeah, I think we shared it to you. So we made this available to anyone, okay, that has the link. And so far, I just got some of my assistants and coworkers and that's my video editor. And then... Anyone that they can do, they can, uh, you see Asmir, he's my editor. So he has editor access. These other two just have viewer. And then anyone who has the link can only view it. They can't delete it. They can't do anything other than watch it or download it. So if somebody else gets a hold of this link, Tony, and they want to download your video, good for them. <laughs> it's more information about you that they have in their hands. But nobody will know what this link is unless you share it with them. So I click copy here. I'm pretty sure we've sent this to you, but I'm going to do a quick uh, switch over here and I'll go to my messenger is a lot of times the way I send stuff. The reason I use messenger is because I've got messenger on my phone and on my um, computer, right? So we'll go like this. And now I've just sent that link to myself and then I'll get on my phone here to show you. So then what I will do then to double check, you got, I text everybody most everything. Now I can email this to you too. Would you rather me email this to you or text it to you? That link to make yeah. sure you have that. I, I prefer email for something like this, but whatever is easier. For yeah, me. no, the email makes sense because it's something you're going to keep it for a long time and you can go yeah, back I, and get it. But right. text will get you right in front of you. So I'm sharing my Gmail account here. If everybody wants to look around at my Gmail, not, not a lot to see there. Uh, 267,000 unread messages. I do everything marketing through there. I test all the company's stuff. So let me see if I've got you still here. Tony Jackson 
F I N A C C T G. Correct. And so, and this is your, I'm going to give you a few um, video links. So we'll put these all in one place for you. And I'll put your little, I always don't release my shift button fast enough. There we go. Cat castle show on ABC. All right. So this is the ABC. We generally send these to you. You might have already gotten these, but for demo purposes, we're going to show everybody how we do this ABC show link. And what I'm linking to, do it again. What I'm linking to is the um, folder. So if we happen to put another version in that folder, that's what will be in there. But a lot of times then you'll see a subfolder called old or past or original. And that's where if we did make an edit, but if you, I'm going to send this to you in a second and I'll ask you to pull it up. I don't want you to share your screen unless you want to, but, but just to verify that when you get these, when you click it, what you see. But that's the first thing I share with you. And I do my alt tab switch over here. And we're done with that. But that I look up here, I want to unselect that because it will give me my path. Yeah, so I was sharing, I believe what I shared is this, get link. And that's what I got. So that's to the folder. Otherwise, if I'm going to share the video itself, I like the folder because it gives you options for stuff if things change. That folder is always going to be the folder. If you give the direct link to the video, then if that video changes or moves, then that breaks the link. So that's why we should give access to the folder. Then we go back up here, you've got the clips. And so these clips, we'll go ahead and open this. And have you had a chance to look at these yet? Not all of them. I have started. Cool. And so we want you to sort through what I would advocate and something else we are starting to do for our clients, just because it's hard for clients to figure out a way to get these all out there in a all encompassing right. kind of a place. So mm -hmm. I found kind of a hack shortcut way to do it because I'm just computer nerds as so we like to get things efficient, but how do you do it anyway? So these, all these clips are out there. If I was you at any point, um, we can, I, I, I can tell Asmir still has the ownership of these. He likes to transfer everything over to me. So I'm going to request that I take over ownership, but either way, I think I'm an editor. So let me go here and I'll show you just right mouse click on a PC. It might have to do a shift click on a Mac, but, um, so that's the, uh, I'm going to go call it Tony Jackson show close outro and so and then you might even go with give me your i'll spell it for me so i know we make sure f-i-n-a-c-c-t-g c-t-g.com dot com oh you mean just a company name yeah just yeah. a company f-i-n hyphen a-c-c-t-g yeah let's do that mm -hmm. there you go Okay, so then that's kind of now that I've got that covered um, as another sh shortcut. I'm always trying to, here's what I would copy this. I'm going to copy this text because it could be applied to a bunch of these probably. So I'm going to click OK. Let's we'll see if, yeah. So did, because I'm an editor, you're, you, I can make you an editor so that you can edit these titles. Mm -hmm. Then you have full control, not to just download them was what viewer rights give you, but you get full control. You can delete them even if you wanted to. I wouldn't advocate that, but you can if you want. <laughs> So that's the, and these are coming up in the order by file size. So let me, let me change this to, that's file size the other way, last modified, let's go by, yeah, we can even do it by name is what I usually do. So here they are. So there's the intro and then you got clip two, two, start up at the top. So clip two, three, four, five, now they're in order, you see, by the name. And so even the intro gets thrown out at the end because I comes after C. So the intro is at the bottom in that case, but you've got all these clips now. So any, any one of these clips, you can just go out there. You can watch it right here on the okay, We got everything started. So vital information we're going to share with you guys. First, let's give a shout out to our sponsors that you can have. Um, and so every clip is some value. So somebody says, well, I don't want the clip with you giving sponsorship announcements to other sponsors, except that it adds a little bit of credibility to you, maybe, to have be on a show where Carroll House Furniture was the sponsor. In St. Louis, they're a really well-known, so we're very fortunate to have them as a sponsor. Something. So I just think of all kinds of creative ways that you can use these clips because you want to gain attention. You say, here's my interview with, sponsored by Carroll House Furniture. Oh, you got on a show that was sponsored by Carroll House in St. Louis? That'll do you some good, I think. 
Then you go on down to the next clip. So you wide uh, angle shot because you can see here this is a cool little student. And then of course you have to have your state in order. So there's that. Yeah. So then you would go through these clips. Go ahead. You had a question. What I was going to ask is, you've already created the clips, and my initial thought is I was going to have to re-edit, um, do no. some editing myself. So it looks like you've done that homework. So I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We kind of got a system, and what I figured out is that if I give it to everybody, then that's one more thing they've got to do, and then they're not going to use it. So I want to mm -hmm. make it more useful. That's where I found my buddy Asmir, who uh, mm -hmm. he, he labels himself as. Uh, Sh Shazman Kitchen, which I looked up. He's from <laughs> Pakistan, but his name's Asmir. And uh, he just does, he, there's some things, I, I, Asmir, I say this to your face, <laughs> there's some things he just hit, struggles with a little bit because his native language is not English. Mm -hmm. So we started to try to get him to do the titling and everything. I kind of fixed that problem where the titles go on live during the show. That's That brings down production cost dramatically because adding titles afterwards is a lot of labor. So uh, the titles go on there. So we kind of took that job away from everybody because it's just extra work. But what he does a great job with is, and I know how to do this now too, as I research it. So I pay him a, a nice chunk, for, especially for the average uh, income and whatever. We're a global economy. You're just sharing business secrets a little bit. But um, he's figured out how to take the clips. And I know there's a way to do this. There's one less thing I have to deal with. And for what he charges me, it's fair. And then I include that with what you get. And now he takes every time there's a cut between a question and an answer, a question and an answer. And when he finishes the last question and the last with the last answer, then he starts the next clip. So there's nothing deleted. Every single clip is just one segment of the entire video. Everything is there. But mm. our discretion, to, his discretion to figure out where does this clip start and that clip stop. And generally, you don't ever go in the middle of a question, obviously. But it's whenever you finish that thought. And then I started another thought, another you know, question with a separate topic. And that's where a new question comes in. So it's a pretty good place to break these up. We can custom edit these things for you later if you want to, or I can show you how to do that very inexpensively with editing software out there that is free. But most people, they don't get into that. There's that's right. not, they, they, it, you yeah. give them that task and it just will never get done. And then they don't use the yep. video. That's why mm -hmm. we wanted to include that with what we do. So I'm glad right. you, you appreciate that. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. We didn't make it more clear that that was part of what we do. But yeah, I always say you get the clips too. Mm -hmm. So that's all they are is the whole rent. It's just the whole thing cut up in the clip. So, we don't go in and take the time to label them because we'll give our rendition of what we thought it is. Right. And it's also time consuming. And then you'd right. have to go in and relabel it anyway because you want right. to say, no, I was really making this point mm -hmm. that we didn't understand, but you want the client to, without having to watch the clip, they can get that text. And then they go, oh, she's talking about this. So use the mind of a consumer, but also, also knowing what you're talking about. And then go through and, and relabel each one of these. And it's really easy to do. And I need to make you an editor of this folder we'll add that here in a minute i don't want to do that on camera but um you just go in here and so i would go share and what i won't do i won't share here i've got one selected i want to unselect it so not selected all there's 23 clips i'll go and i share the folder so i'll end up adding you here and i'll add you as an editor mm -hmm. and i am the owner here by the way so that's all right so i just they can divvy it out different ways according to the sharing but editor there asmir and I think he technically owns the file. I own the folder, he owns the files. <laughs> but I, I take over ownership because he doesn't want to keep these on his storage because that uses up his space. But anyway, okay. these, I'll make you an editor and then you can do whatever. As a okay. viewer, because you have access to this, again, if somebody else had access, you gave them the link, they can download it too. That's not really mm -hmm. a bad thing. There's nothing on here I don't want people to see. If they want to go down all my clips, load all my clips, send, the, send them the link. But um, for your case, <clears throat> You can take this and download it and edit it. You can change things in here and we can make you the owner if you want to. I guess that'd be something we have to talk about because then it's not, then it's all the management of it or whatever. But anyway, so we would give you owner, uh, editor rights and then um, inside of here you've got, you can go by editing rights means you can rename it mostly for what you would do here. Mm -hmm. So do that for each clip. That mm -hmm. reminds me of something I want to show you that you might want to have us do and we do this for pennies compared to what it's probably worth. But um, I'll go ahead and show show you right here a good way before to you move on can i interject a question yeah, that was relevant to the space you were just at in terms of this file listing and in the order of things so just to 
it's a question, but it's also an observation that yeah. right now, the way it's named clip two, you know, clip three, clip four, can I um, uh, ask that's the order of the video? So for example, if you were to go from clip one, that I know you renamed um, all the way, then we can assume that would have been the order of the entire uh, recording or not well, necessarily. Yeah, I mean, if you change, it depends how somebody sorts the videos. Right now, this is just a, a, essentially a big cloud file folder. So, if But he broke it up in clips, though. So it's clipped, you know what I mean? And pieces according to the interview. So right. is clip one the beginning of the interview? I mean, clip two, like the beginning, right? Where clip 12 yes. is towards the end. Yes. Is it? Is that a fair um Yeah, so yeah, assumption? essentially what I was about okay. to explain, yes. Yeah, so these are just taken in order. The outro ends up at the end because alphabetically, yep. but it was cut at the end. It was, and I would say what he probably did when he made these is it just went from clip one to clip 23. And then he labels the intro and the outro to change the name of those two. And then when you sort mm -hmm. alphabetically, because C comes before I, yep. the intro yep. is alphabetically there. But yeah, they are, that's just- Wait, That's the only exception. And I get that. So I, I guess what I'm saying is I would recommend to anyone that if they change the name, including myself, that, you know, I'm, I guess I'm a linear thinker, or, you know, CPA right. and all that that I would like to keep my order. And then when I name it, right, I still know this is clip two, clip three or, or yep. whatever, you know, that's just my observation. Great point. And that's a, that, that, that leads right to what I was about to show you. So if we go okay. to your, look, we've got a new website. Actually, I've had this domain for a long time. And I said to Dawn, I go to my assistant, I said, Dawn, we need to have another website where we like highlight the leader, not just business stuff or the castle, but or, I'm sorry, it's the home stuff. What's your little castle ties into your business? Because everybody's got to have a job, pay for the castle. But um, I, I, what if we had your local leader.com? And then I looked it up. Guess who I had already purchased that? I did. So I already had your little local leader.com. And then we put out there, say, essentially for some of our clients who want us to do a little extra for them, we make mm -hmm. these landing pages for you. And this makes an easy way for you to display your work without you having to go argue with your web developer about a bunch of stuff to do these things, how much are they going to charge you and how long is it going to take just so you get some one place, kind of a you know neutral site where everything is listed. So you can see this, we make these funnel pages. This, we have funnel software, again, that we, that normally is 200 bucks a month. So if you go buy it from somebody else, but I bought the unlimited license because it's what we do for you know a living. And so I've got an unlimited amount of funnel pages I can make on an unlimited amount of sites, as long as they're WordPress and for this one, Funnel page software. So this is a funnel page. You can see there's no about, no or contact us. I mean, that, that phone number and that kind of information can be put in here. But this is a funnel page. It just says, hey, I snagged a little clip off their website. They talked about their 50th anniversary. And then here is that full, depending on which one we got here, this is that interview. What, oh, this what is, this is one of their clips. So we picked, we selected one of the clips that was that highlighted them most. It could be the full interview. It could be a clip. And that one's put up right there. And then I say to see all clips, click here. And you can see this is the sub page. It's called your little cat, your little, your local leader, sorry, dot com forward slash coach dash house dash the garages. And then what I did is, is as a matter of, it takes a long time. That's why I said, I'm not going to do this for, uh, this is going to cost you a lot of money to get us to come in and label each video and upload each video and place each video and embed each video. But I found kind of a workaround that it's just, this, this is a screenshot of this with a different view. So you see that? All I did was take a screenshot, meaning I hit print screen on your PC. I believe it's the same thing on a Mac. Um, and it, it captures that screen. Then I re, I crop it to crop out the text and stuff around the edges at the bottom. And so when you click here, it looks like you're clicking on the link, you're clicking on the video, you're not. That takes you, what you do, you click anywhere in here, that takes you to that Google Drive folder. And now you, now you want these clips labeled accordingly. So inside of here, I, I pretty much did this one I, as a demo. I did this for them. And so clip two, that's called T, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I got to where we started going through the clips. And so I left the clip eight. So it kept it in order, like you're saying. Yep. I mm -hmm. labeled it. And name it. As, mm -hmm. as what the... <laughs> see. I see an F. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the F? But if you click on it, you'll see it's what the founder, Jim did. <laughs> oh, how disappointing. <laughs> so now that clip is available and it's in a place where you can more easily 
show it off by doing this kind of a shortcut to as opposed to embedding every video and how do you list these to everybody all we're really doing is sharing to the public because this is we make that folder viewable by anyone as long as they have the link they get the link because it comes from i just i, I got the link and i said hey if they click on this image an image can be linked to something so that image links to the folder and now they're getting taken off to our google drive where they can see all these they can't do anything with them other than watch them or download them like I said, I think if somebody's downloading your videos, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Unless you got something they're trying to, uh, you know, oh, oh, she said this. And I, we don't do that on our show, so I'm not too worried about that. So this is all your videos. And then any of these videos you want not put out there publicly, we can. It's all part of the whole big video. And like I said, we edit that down accordingly. And that's what aired on ABC. ABC has to approve everything. We finally got caught with one. I was showing a video a website the other day or we've recorded a few weeks ago, but a number of weeks ago, but uh, I put on their fan page and they're, they're a beer group. Like they talk about how they bring the community together. I'm like, okay, I don't want to focus on beer, but you know, as long as you're 21 and everybody can drink beer in America uh, and that's fine. We didn't show people drinking beer, but I, I put their website, their fan page up and the f guy who actually runs the page had a post that said something with the F word in it. And it got shown on a, it, 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 I missed it because it was just like, as I was scrolling down the screen, showing the computer screen, which we can do live, right? While we're talking in the background and it had the F word on it. And I missed it because it's just like flashes by and I'm doing the whole video. And I didn't see this. Well, I'm, they obviously watch very, very closely is kind of my point. And they said, hey, one off exception, we're going to blur this for you. Normally we make you edit this again and send it back to us. But that's how well they scrutinize anything that comes out there. So, you know, that pretty much anything you got on, even if something accidentally slipped by and it, like I said, it was just going from the top to the bottom as I was scrolling down. It wasn't like I had it on the page and it had it like sitting there for two minutes where it said F it just, whoop, and it scrolled by because I had to search and find it. I'm like, I missed it. Where is it? No wonder I missed it. But anyway, those are the kinds of things. So that's all kind of what you have with a resource here. So these clips then to get to the real meat of this, you have available to download and then upload. Okay. So if you're really going to take advantage of what we've, Put together here the whole video is great and so there will be some people that will watch that i would advocate you do what a lot of my clients have told me they prefer to do with it and they put it on their front page of their website and it brings them business like crazy because uh, you may have heard me say this but i'll re 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 reiterate for our little video here but if you've got accounting company number one and accounting company number two and tony jackson is amazing but this other company looks pretty good too and they got great reviews and you've got great reviews and everything looks like you guys are really good at what you do. But Tony has an interview for a half hour on ABC. The other guys do not. That makes it a lot easier for a lot of people to go. I'm going with that one, especially after they watch it. And so these guys tell me, my clients tell me, are you putting your posts out there? You're doing your stuff. I'm asking them. They're like, eh, nah, no, I'm like, ah, oh, you're killing me. You should be. We could really take your business to the next level. They're like, well, probably should do that, Carter. But I tell you what we do do. I put it on the front of my website and we get calls like crazy because people go, I watched your interview. I didn't want to call you. You don't know who I am. But once I saw that, then I decided I needed to call you. So that's what I would strongly advocate to start off with. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Cool. Then the clips, like I said, this little page, I can show you how to integrate a kind of a thing like this. You could literally take this image. I make it for you and do the same thing on your website if you wanted to. Just take this image, put it on the front of your page, put it on whatever page you want to say, if you want to watch all of our clips, rather than taking every single video, uploading every single clip to YouTube mm -hmm. separately, and then embedding each one separately, trust me, I've done it. It is a lot of work. Do the mm -hmm. same thing. Put that, take that image, you go right mouse click, mm -hmm. save image as, and mm -hmm. then that I called it coach-house-garage-clips. And then your case, it'll be whatever we create that for you. It's a screenshot. And then I just cropped it. And now it looks like it's all the clips, but now you do the same thing and you say, click here. And instead of going off to some other place that you had to set up or whatever, that folder exists the minute we create it for you and I start uploading stuff to it. So all you're doing is sending to an, a folder that already exists. And it's got the stuff laid out this like this. And it's just a matter then of how do they view it? Like I said, some people might be like, oh, I saw this. Okay. And maybe they have to be, maybe we put an instruction somewhere that says, click your button up here in the top right to change your view. Either way, they're gonna, most people are gonna be smart enough to realize this is a series of clips. Which one do I wanna watch? In this detail view, I think they call this the detail view. 
it shows the title more clearly, the full title versus the thumbnail view, right? Here's the detail view. And so I go down here, I can go, oh, warranty and workmanship, leaders in St. Louis region, the CHG shine, what is that? Okay, and now they can see these clips and individually sort through them without having to dig through and search and do all kinds of Google, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. It's all listed for them. And now they can pick what they want to learn about you. Nice. Then I say you, you take these clips. Go ahead. You had a question? No, I just said nice. Very nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm just really fortunate. My parents made me go to computer classes as a kid. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, I, and I dig in deep. I just, I, I, it's kind of interesting. I work with all kinds of professionals and so many of them, I'm like, you don't know the shortcuts. You don't know the stuff. Like, you do the same job I do. You know where I was working when I was doing this. I'm like, but that's why I kind of rose to the top and ended up running and building the email systems for Anna's or Bush, because I would learn all the detailed things behind it. So I want to share those tips. I don't know everything. I don't know much, but there's a few things I really do. I'm good at, and I want to share that stuff. So here you now have this available in front of you. So then I'd say what you should do is take each one of these clips, especially the ones you want to start off with ones, the one you think they're best, you right mouse click and you click and you select download. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know which one I clipped there. But I'm going to do better than that because I don't want to share their clip. I mean, I will. I got that one now. I'll do that later at some point. But while we got you here, I'm going to pick one. Do you know any of these yet? Do we know which one you might think? They're all no. good. I really I argue that. Thank you. But I know I'm not that familiar. That's why we're here today so I can get familiar. <laughs> yeah. And we, I won't take time right now on, on recording. I'll spend time with you no. but afterwards if you want. We can go through these. I'll spend but, time uh, with you. It's pretty easy for you to just, well, now you know how to get there. I'll show yeah, you now I understand. Yep, the big picture. Yep. Yep. So then I go, all right, let's download this one. Don't even know which one it is, but I can tell you, mm -hmm. anything that shows up on ABC, unless you're cursing somebody out, which isn't allowed, <laughs> right, it's going to be something that's going to get attention. So I, I'm going to select this one, and then I would say, okay, where'd that go? Show in folder. Mm -hmm. See where that went. Show in folder where to go. It's understand. When I click show in folder, my 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 PC is not doing what I want to. I'm gonna go like this and go file explorer. Yeah, we're having some kind of technical issue on my computer. Probably I've been running too many things, but that folder, where did it go? I can't believe it's not even let me open file explorer. There it is. Well, I don't know where it went. Maybe it's a Zoom thing kicking in here, but maybe it's behind me here. Yeah, it's behind the Zoom, which I expanded. That's what was going on. All right, so there's a bunch of them. I've got it over here. So I have, I'll, I'll drag this over here. This should be recording. There it is in my downloads folder. So then I switch over and I go, and I will share this one for you right now on my Facebook. Is that okay? Yes, sure. So then I go here and I go face. Book. I'm gonna go cowboy. I'm put on my cowboy page because that's the one's that got the most followers. So we've got we've had two pages. The Cardinal Cowboy had about ten thousand followers. We're up to a new page called Cowboy itself, just Cowboy. Makes it more of a national brand instead of a local brand. And we're up to twenty nine hundred on it. Getting good. It's been about a year and a half. It's not bad. All yeah. organic. We don't. And so then I go here and I go. All right, let's. Am I switched over? Yeah, I am. In as Carter, Cardinal Cowboy. You can see all of what we have. So, so now I've got this, I'll go. And, and I do, in this case, I would say, all right, let's take a moment to watch it, if that's all right, that one clip. Okay? Sure. Yeah, we don't know what that's oh, is. Is there a particular <laughs> hurdle that you, you want to share that you went through that you learned a lot from? Because it's like, why is full of hurdles? You, you haven't been on this planet too long, and you haven't learned some of them. I'd say, you know, when I started my business in 2016, right, things were going, going good, right, but then, you know, here, what, what we started in 20, 2020, I would say, when the COVID thing, and then uh, businesses started failing, right, or, or and all that, well, my business started failing because businesses started failing, right, you know, so, um, I still had to pay my mortgage, and I'm just one of those people, I love my home, and I didn't want to sell it, so, you know, then I started using up some of my savings, using my my credit card just to stay afloat. So sometimes you have to do what you need to do. So I recommend people, and it, it saved me 
just, just try to, to maintain good credit because when you need it, you get available. As the cost of credit goes up quite a bit, if your credit score yes. is low, that's another reason. Yeah, and then there's a cost to. My dad would mention bad credit gets very expensive. Yeah, so it didn't feel good for me, you know, um, to be using savings and credit cards because I was always a saver. I was always one of those kids that enjoyed watching their bank. So when it's depleting, you know, that could be very stressful, but it wasn't enough for me to give up, it wasn't enough for me to even sell my house. You know, um, I just took my chances, just kept plugging away. And, and I know the success you've had, so I can imagine uh, with what, all of what you've done. That's some resources there, and it's good, but when it comes down to it, you're going to make it all come together. You don't have to give up any of those resources and the tax reasons and all the other things that go along with that. Very important stuff for people to realize. So there you go. Did you see that? Could you hear it? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. that's an interesting. And he did a great job just clipping. The one question, right, with the answer, I, I'd say, um, yeah, the individual that you uh, retained to do this. Kashmir, yeah. Doing, yeah, Kashmir is doing a great job just from the few clips that I've seen. Yep. So, yeah, thank you for that. And, and like I said, so now we know what that clip's about. It took me a minute and a half to watch it of mm -hmm. my life, right? And so that's a short time mm -hmm. to uh, dedicate time to... Now say, I'm going to share this with 30,000 people, right? Mm -hmm. Or 100,000 people or how many ever I want. And there's a number of ways to do that. And we can talk about how you do that too, organically or paid. And paying and I would is- I call that business, the risk of business, of owning your, your own business, right? So I will label that some something about risk. <laughs> yeah, okay. And that's what I say. Then, then, then we, I would say, let's, let's, and we'll name this twice because I want to rename the one. Why not? We'll name this one right now on the computer. Yep. And then I, I use that text in the description for the post, and then I'll also label the other one. So we'll knock out three things at once here. So let's go clip 14. I'm going to leave that in there so it stays in order of show, right? And then we'll say, because it was the question was about how did you overcome adversity? One time you've had adversity. So you can make this long. It doesn't have to be, I mean, not, not like a paragraph, but you can make it, you know, seven or eight words. Um, how... Oh. Tony, I, I would just say overcoming adversity. You know, um, you don't even have to put my name there again. Oh, you do. That's on your your side of the savings. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, and, and I, I would say generally because this is assume that there's going to be somebody watching this and who's overcoming adversity. And if I'm clicking, oh, it's Tony, the person who's actually talking in the video. I want to watch that. Or they might say, I don't want to watch it because I've already heard enough from Tony. But at least they know that <laughs> who it is. But that's probably more likely they're going to watch it, right? Because they're going to say. I don't want to hear being more specific, you know, it's a marketing strategy, but it, it, who is this? If it's just Carter talking about overcoming adversity, we've heard that a thousand times. I don't want to hear that anymore, but it's so, so a little bit of, and you can rename this a thousand times, whatever you want to do. So how yeah. Tony overcame adversity and the risk of doing business, mm -hmm. the risk, or is it the risk of business ownership? Because doing business could not maybe not be interpreted the way yeah. Yeah, you're it's right. about like that. business ownership, right? Absolutely. Yep, there. So there's our clip. And I so I would just copy this part. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take the whole thing because it's easier. It's easier to delete a little text. So then that's what's relabeled on my computer. Now, oops. I did copy that, I believe. So let me go back here. I'm going to. And now, because I apparently deleted the MP4. So it was going to make it a nine. It would say, what kind of file is this? It doesn't know what the MP4, if I took that off. So now it's got it. Okay, good. So we're learning all kinds of things we can demo here. So now I take this clip and I'd say, all right, I go back over here. I'm going to go paste. And instead of saying 14 in there, I can, it might make people more intrigued to say clip 14. What's that? You know? Test everything. See what people respond to. Clip. <laughs> You're a good <girl> marketer. <laughs> and I'll, I'll extend this a little bit. During the launch of your business or when was this? 
When was what? When did, was this, what time frame of your business was this, was it early on in the business at the launch of your business? No, during the COVID period is when thing, you know. Um, okay, but I know shift, that was the same right? time as, because I don't like to talk about COVID a whole lot, but um, that brings up the whole thing. Everybody goes, ah, we all get frustrated about that. But was it during, we were starting the business also or a year in? No, I started the business in 2016. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is okay, so way before COVID. I was doing fine. It was COVID okay. that changed my yeah. landscape. <laughs> okay. How Tony overcame. Adversity. And then that brought me into the tax world, right? That's when I started Yeah, shifting from the consulting then into more tax driven um, services, which you saw this year. So, this so is initially what I, was I wasn't as, um, I wasn't doing taxes as my focus uh, area of service. So that came later after COVID. So in my case, I'm going to put your little castle show or your little castle. Okay. And then yeah. I put, I, I like to advertise you a little bit because, I mean, all these businesses do well. You've done the stuff and you've done in your career. Like I said, I was kind of just excited when you showed up to my house. I was like, <laughs> Tony's like... <laughs> Thank you. Done a lot of really cool stuff on our planet. Um, so let's put in there. I'll just type it F C C T G. By now I've got it memorized. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. Okay. And uh, yeah, I guess that's good. I'll put it on your Cardinal Cowboy because that way some people yeah. search for my posts, they can see. Yeah, yeah, keeps all of my connected. posts. Yeah, that might help you a little bit because people know who I am. All right. Wow, some real insights for business owners, how Tony overcame adversity during a tough time in everyone's business without saying COVID. Right. Yeah. So they might be like, when, what's, what's everyone business struggle with? It might be some generic thing they're thinking it happens to everybody. No, it was that one time frame, but whatever mm -hmm. it was the thing. And then the risk of business ownership. Well, it shifted the course of the way I serve my clients to open up opportunities for new clients. So I just shifted my whole business model. And how she made it, okay? Mm -hmm. And this can be ed even edited afterwards too, obviously. You post this, say, oh, I wanna change that little text, whatever, a few people might've seen it. So you just click your photo video. And I learned this, this it's giving me, my screen is smaller here. I don't want to add photos, not from, they give you this mobile device thing. Let me uh, go here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So add photos. There it went. Okay. So then go to downloads and then go to this clip that we just relabeled and that won't show up, but it, it, that's what upload with that. And I know it's the right clip, right? Cause that's the one we just did. Yep. So, and I, so I always sort by date. Not always, most mm -hmm. always. And so there it is. And then we'll put a checkbox on me for this. I would put your little castle for you. You would put your business location. You have a business Facebook business location. Yes. Okay. So you could put that in there. I can put that in there for you right now. I think it might add a little bit more for you and you're allowed to tape tag my studio as the place this was recorded because that couple, it helps both ways, but you lose one or the other. If you put your business on there, it's branding your business. If you put my show on there, it's showing you're on TV. So mm -hmm. you can't get both. You got to click flip one or the other. If you want me to put your business in on this, I would have to find it. The reason I was going with mine, because I know it comes up easier. Oh, you go ahead and go with yours. It's easier. I, yes. I and it is posting on my page. Yeah, yeah but go. I make that point to everybody. So you understand. You might want to tag your own business. You can tag, tag your little castle, because this technically did air in our studio that we produce shows for ABC here um, in St. Louis. Wow. So, so anything we want to edit there? Look good? I think it looks good to me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click post and it'll tell me, I'm gonna actually have a trade trick of the trade I do just because these things blow up sometimes. Ah, oh, where'd it go? What happened? Facebook, ah. I do a control, I click somewhere in the middle of this. I do control A, control C. Control A selects the whole text, control C copies it. I might even hit that a couple of times just to make sure. Now if this thing just went away, it's also good verbiage. Another tip that I might share with you, if you have your own, website which i don't believe do you have wordpress i don't believe you do do you but um Mine is not wordpress yeah so you can work i just i'm real familiar with wordpress and it's easy to make posts on wordpress wordpress is kind of known for posting this could be another post so now you put this multiple places 
-hmm. So another good reason to copy this right now is, and I'm glad I did copy that, not for just instinctively in case it blew up, but I go over here and I go, cool, there's that. Now I'm going to go to this new thing called Instagram. Have you heard of this yet? <laughs> and if I was doing this from my phone, I could do both at the same time. But since we're doing it on a computer, so I'm going to switch over here. And I'll, I'll, you yeah. know what? I'll leave it on my. I'll leave it on my page. And so let's do a uh, new post. I always post from my phone on Instagram. But yeah, let's go create, select from the computer. And this one right here, I think it cuts it off at a minute. They change their stuff all the time. Is there a particular hurdle that you want to share that you went learn a lot? Okay, next. It's like life. So let me preview it. And then it lets you crop the thing. Yeah, it's the same right here. You got, it's, it's, I guess it's saying I can do the whole thing. That's cool. And then Instagram is different the way they post, obviously. This is a lot more stuff going on here. But I'm going to do that control V. Wow, I'm glad I saved that because now I just didn't have to type that up again. Right, and uh, I can add location. Let's see if this picks up on our. I don't do this on Instagram hardly ever. Now you would have to send me that link for me to then use it, my and share it. Right? Is that my understanding? Well, what you? No, I mean you're you're going to download. Share? You're going to do the same exact steps I did. Ideally, you're okay, going to download my, the video to your my, computer mm -hmm. from the Google Drive, and we've got that that saved up there. I haven't yep. done the clips folder yet, but, but, um, so yeah, this, this, where are we at? Let me see if. There's a bunch of Cardinal stuff out there. I am registered. I don't know if it's been picked up by Instagram yet. Obviously not. But that's another little process. I'm, I'm not a huge Instagram guy. You can see I've only got 5,000 or so followers or whatever. But <clears throat> um, let's let's leave it blank. You don't have to. <clears throat> I hardly ever put that in on Instagram. So, and again, this is totally, that's like, I think the first time, Instagram didn't allow you to post from a computer up until like a year ago. Everything was done on mobile. They just finally got smart and said, there's still some, you know, 10% of the people, 10% well, of 700 million is 70 million people that might still post from their computer, I think is the strategy there. So accessibility, you can see whatever here, write a text, advanced settings. So let's just go ahead and share it. Now we put that two places in seven minutes or whatever that took. Probably take less than that because I wouldn't be explaining all the details while I was doing it when I'm actually doing it, right? And so that's uploading and it'll spin like that for a minute. This one here, the post is being processed. So that one would have showed me a counter here. We jumped away from that. And it starts going up. Normally, it shows a counter, and then it comes up and says, "Okay, now it's being processed because it has uploaded." So I'll go ahead here. I'm going to just do a refresh, and there it is. So this is your my post about your video on my website, and I should be doing this more regularly too. We're just so busy and everything, and we got so much coming in that we can't even keep up with all this. I've got a system now that we started to adapt, and I'll share that with you a little bit. But I partnered with an old buddy of mine um, who I, uh, years and years, I just go to him. I'm like, got a big deal. We're going to close this deal for $100,000 a month. I need you to come in. And so he would come in with these big deals with me and we'd close the deal. Um, and, and then we, he would get, you know, I'd pay him for his time or whatever. I went back to him and I said, hey, man, I'm just people coming in for this TV show like crazy, but they're not doing everything they need to do with it afterwards. So he said, let me get this marketing automation software that you might be interested in too, because it does a lot of this stuff for you. And it does it in mass and it's really inexpensive. And so we'll talk about that at some point, but this is how you manually do it. Um, the software I'm talking about, I'll show you real quick, but this is our, my buddy's business that I'm partnered up with him on. And uh, we did a video on it. That's actually coming to, gonna air on ABC uh, tonight as a promotion. He, he said, well, let's sponsor this show that you're doing for uh, some charitable based guys and community based guys. But this is his website, it's our website. And right here, this software, and we'll talk about all of this at some other point, but it literally allows you to upload like seven different places at once. And then it does a whole automation, follows up, grabs cell phone numbers, grabs emails, automates the follow up, lots of people's schedule, does your Facebook ads, it does everything. And when mm. you figure out what it costs, it's like, holy cow, I need that. I'm like, I know, man, I just came about really because I had a client come in, he goes, I'm spending 1800 dollars a month 
and was getting nothing. And that's kind of what I find these marketing guys, they talk about all this cool stuff they can do. They don't really even understand how it all works, but somebody told them that they could make a lot of money if they would figure out this web thing now, because they were, a, a, you know, a whatever. I don't want to make fun of any other business, but, you know, they were a, I can't, I won't say anything, but <laughs> you never know. But I was doing, I was living in my mom's basement. How about that? I was living in my mom's basement. And then some of my buddies said, hey man, if you just learn how to make websites, you can make a lot of money. It's weird. It's, it's, it's I, there's so much I can get out there that people get taken advantage of, but he got our stuff and costs a quarter of that, uh, less than a quarter of that. And he's getting all kinds of stuff now because it does so many things. It's the biggest problem I have with um, a lot of the companies out there is that they give the software to people and then they don't set it up for them. So an accountant isn't going to know how to set up a marketing automation system, right? And so one of the things I made sure and Marlon was like, absolutely, we set the whole thing up for you, all set up for you. Answer your phone, answer your texts, schedule some of your own posts because that's easy to do. This thing will save you a lot of time, a lot of money. But we'll come back to that at another time if you want to talk more about that. So kind of what we've covered now, as I go through here, I'm doing things kind of in a strategic fashion in that. I want to get to my inbox. We do have the ABC show link. Okay. There is the folder itself that has these subfolders, right? So as I go back here, I'm going to go unselect. If I go back up here, here's our your little castle folder. Yours, this folder is a sub of that. Inside is that original, you know, unedited video. You can use that. So I'm going to copy the full folder video. All right, so I'm gonna get this link. So I just click copy. And now this one is restricted. I'm gonna change it right now to anyone with the link. And if you'd like me to put your Gmail in there, we can do that after the video is over, remind me to do that. And then um, now I can click copy the link. It's not a whole lot of difference because you're not uploading to it. So you would have to have editor rights to do that. You're not gonna probably delete anything. You need editor rights to do that. You do need editor rights in the clips folder so that you can edit the title. So that would be the one folder we definitely want you to have editor rights to. Other than these, it's just you want to have access. And so you can get that by having this link to it. So I just made it to anyone with the link. They have viewer rights. I could make them editors or commentators. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to do that because <laughs> I don't want you to accidentally delete the whole thing, right? Most people don't want that kind of power. So copy. Then you'll be coming back to me for another video. So maybe I <laughs> but I like to keep it. <laughs> Good. Simple. That's right. So now we've got my email, which I got alt tab. Alt tab is my shortcut to switch windows. You guys can't see that thing, but it does switch windows. And so alt tab back. It brings up the back window up to the front. So this is all videos folder. So there's that. Okay. And then I want to give you the last one I want to make sure we have here is that clips folder. Now you can get to the clips folder is a sub of this all videos folder, but it's might might as well just have that here just so you can click on it go right to it takes an extra second excellence yep. is achieved by doing a little more one of my favorite quotes from my dad and yeah, the extra shortcut yep and then here is that clips so they're all in here i can click here and get share or i can go into it and right mouse click share but i'm here already so let's just go like this and click copy and click done I see a couple of people there with access that aren't using the stuff or doing, you know, so I might remove some of the access from a couple of people there. But, um, and I wanted, I gave it temporarily to somebody so they can see all the work we're doing. She wants to work with us to help bring in clients. So here's the clips folder. There it is. And that clips folder is the one I can rename. Is that my Yeah, I have to add your e email. Do you have a Gmail account? <laughs> Hmm? Is your uh, is your is your current email f n g f a c c t your your current work email is that hosted by Gmail or is that somewhere else? No, no, that, no, that's not hosted by Gmail. I do have a you Gmail account if you need that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, text that to me or Facebook okay. it to me or whatever's yeah. best. I'll I just don't want I don't want to share your email on yeah. your private. Account I'll, on I'll the, email that, or text that to you after. If I had my phone in front of me, I'd <laughs> it's somewhere no, over right. there. <laughs> You are GHR. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All 
Okay, so that's what we'll, and that's, I'm not sending this yet, just because, have we covered everything you want to cover? I want to make sure you cover I think everything. we have. Okay, and that's the core to this, and I showed you how to put it a couple places. You can do all the same stuff on your phone. Just done a little differently, but that would be a different video. We could integrate the videos and whatever. I could switch over to my phone if you wanted to do that. But most people know how to post. They just need to know how to get to the files to do that. But right. that's pretty much it. It's almost the same process. There is a video I made out there a couple months ago. I said, well, I'm sitting at my mom's doctor's appointment waiting in the hallway. <laughs> what can I do to be Bored to death. Bored yeah. to death, face it. But because of these wonderful devices, and I even decided it was worth having this one, but you, know, you can fold it out and get more space. But I can just, and I think the, at that time I had my other phone. I carry a couple phones usually, but this one I had, and I'm just like, I'm going to, and I like it because then I can talk on one phone and work on the other one. But anyway, so I've got this phone and I just said, I'm going to, there's software built into the phones now that will record the screen. And so I recorded myself. I said, watch everybody. I'm going to download a, a number of, a couple clips right from the shared folder that I, anybody else would go to just like I will click on the link, opens the folder, get the video, download it to my phone, upload it to Facebook. And I did that in like 13 minutes, like describing the whole thing, which would take a lot less if I didn't describe it. And then I said, and by the way, this is how I got 37,000 views over the last 30 days or whatever and anybody can do that you just have to know where to go and how to do it and that video shows you that and, it, and that one shows you how to do it on a mobile device so i can Excellent. send you that one too you want me to get you that one right now sure but that's a good one yeah so, so there's one more thing we can put into our so rather than bore everybody with all my browsing through my social media stuff i'm switching to my channel on my other screen here, switch accounts. You know what, it's over here actually. It's just, I don't mind showing it because it's right here. And I'm kind of a candid funny guy. So it's, for some reason they keep showing pretty girls on my, on my Facebook, on my YouTube. I don't know why they <laughs> decided to show me this stuff. I, I honestly don't even hardly ever click on them. I think they just figured out if they just keep showing it to us guys, we'll eventually click on <laughs> Maybe eventually <you'll> click. <laughs> <laughs> then the advertising starts, right? So there's the channel. But yeah, here's the lot, whatever. So um, I go to my channel. And then I go to videos. And then here's all the videos. And I believe this is one. Yeah, so it's not even there. Let me, I'm sorry, I got to go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I'm logged into this studio oh wait no it is allowable here manage videos so here i'm going to pull this over so there are some videos in here that we just only share with clients and i don't want to put it on i you just always respect client uh privacy right so let me go down and i can do a search of my own videos and it's i think i think it's fourteen thousand is what the keyword i used so i'm like watch i have this fourteen thousand something yeah, 14,000 views with only 286 followers. <laughs> so I labeled this thing. But it also shows you how to put those videos up. So and how I did that. Yeah, there I am sitting in my mom's uh, doctor's office. All right. So that one, I just copied the link. And this I can show you now. So this is the video. And it's I believe it's set to private. No, it's public, actually. I got it listed as public. I thought I had made it private. Okay. I'm sharing it with everybody. But and it's a good tip for everybody, I think, for how to get this out there. So let's go back to our email. So what are you trying to show us here just to understand? Yeah, so this is, and that's a good question because I'll label it right now. So I, I'm going to do, I put spaces in here to, on purpose. So this is right here. I'm going to copy the description of the video too. This is only 14,000 views only with only, and I'll say with, I, I shortened it on the thing because you only have a hundred characters, but um, only 286 followers do this and then download for it. And it shows says, this is, and this is how to down, how to download from Google drive. Oh, I don't know what happened, what happened here, but your real has been shared. I don't know what that is, but I just switched on something by accident. All right, there we go. Um, so that, does that make sense what that is? So this is how you on your phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Download from your Google Drive the, all mm -hmm. the any one of those videos I, I just gave you access to, but you need them. You can't just transfer them from there. There is a way, but it's tricky. It's easier to just download it to your phone. Now it's physically a file on your phone. 
And then just like any video you just shot with your friends or with your phone, it's just the same type of thing, except it wasn't shot with your phone, it was downloaded to your phone. Then you go from the phone, sometimes it's in a different folder, it's in the download folder instead of the camera mm -hmm. folder on your phone. Mm -hmm. And you just find that folder. It's not hard. You just do mm -hmm. things. It's show all videos. It'll show it. And then you go up, look at, upload that video to your Facebook, just like you would have another video that you just recorded. And it shows yes. you that process. But the big key is to that is to get it off the Google Drive. And that's okay. what it shows. Thank you. Perfect. On your phone. So there you Perfect. go. So that one I'll give you there. And a little bit better text right there. Bigger text, whatever. And uh, here's our email now to you. Mm-hmm. This, I love this little monitor, but it does have a lower resolution. There it is. Okay, that's all right. Never mind. It was just because I had that set. It is a lower, little bit lower. I got it for like 170 bucks. I'm like, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> I can break it and I won't care. But you buy these $2,000 monitors. Are you kidding me? Um, all right. So there we go. Excellent. Okay, and then I'm gonna stop the recording on the video and anything else you wanna ask me off camera that's not being recorded, you can do that right now too, is that cool? All right, very good, thank you. All right, so let me uh, stop the interview or the recording. Where'd my tab go for that? I got so many tabs. And they end up behind uh, whatever. And I, this is something I give Zoom trouble about. I'm like, where did my controls go? There we go. All right. And give me a second here. There it is. It's behind this thing still. I stretch. No, it, it happens to me too. Don't worry about it. I, you know, I, I'll be the host of the meeting. Don't know where the heck it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. And should have an option here. Stop recording. There it is.